morning, like you just had a good feeling about today. So I'm curious if there's a certain vibe you picked up around the rink or? Uh, our guys were in a good place. I think we really needed a day off yesterday. Uh, this is our ninth game in nine different cities here in a, a stretch. And um, we're not getting a break. We're going home and playing Saturday again. So we haven't had a lot of space between games. So um, the rest was good, good energy this morning. I think our guys, you know, we had to talk a bit about you know when you win, everyone's asking you about how you're managing the workload, how you're managing this, how you're managing that. It's like, you know what, we're hockey players, guys. Let's just get to playing hockey and we'll take our days off if we need them, but let's, you know, let's be Vegas Golden Knights and play our game. And I think they responded well to that because we're always talking, like we're going to Edmonton, right? It's the, oh, the playoff series last year. And I think we're, for, you know, you're trying to balance what we accomplished last year with just being in the moment this year. And I thought we did a really good job with that today and getting back to basics and some of our pre-scout is a little more to do with us than Vancouver and just get to our game. And I thought we did that really well. It was probably one of our best games of the year. And listen, you can always argue back and forth which one was, but I thought overall the way we checked, uh, kept Vancouver's top players, made them really work to get space that converted our chances, special teams were good. We just had no weaknesses tonight. And so as a coach, those are the games you love. Jack Eichel, you talked about the 500th game this morning, and he leads the way for you tonight with a goal and two assists to set the tone early for you. I guess no surprise. Yeah, no, he was good. Um, again, we shuffled the lines a little bit. Um, he's back with Barbie. He's played with a lot. Marsh is down, moves Stone there. He was very good. I thought Stevie responded with a great game for us too, Stevenson with, with Howden and Amadio. And that's how we like our four centers. We've moved Stevie out of there, but we really... You know, we're at our best when those guys are all playing in the middle of Mikwa and Carly. So, but Jack was good um, on top of pucks, hanging on to pucks, challenging their D at the blue line. Uh, good defensively. Um, he's, he's a big part of our kill now this year. It's something we didn't use a lot with him. And against a team like tonight, you need that early on, not to give momentum. If, if we don't kill penalties early, we took enough of them that we could have got ourselves in trouble, and he was part of that too. 44 shots, or sorry, 45 shots, but a lot of quality as well. It felt like I thought so. Laterals. I thought so. We, like, we've made a concerted effort to get more pucks to the net. It happened in Edmonton the other night. If you've seen us lately, we had a real scoring drought for a while there, and I think we were turning down opportunities to get greasy goals. So in Edmonton, we got three from going to the top of the crease. So we're trying to balance that rush game, puck possession, ozone game with getting to the net. So. I like where it is now a little better. We're, we're, we are getting more volume. Uh, we're not shooting just to shoot, we're shooting when people are there. So um, it's the chicken or the egg, right? A little bit of, you tell people to go to the net, but if the puck doesn't arrive, or do you start shooting so they have to go to the net to get it right? And, and I think we're getting it a little better than maybe we were a little while ago. Aiden Hill, not out for the third period. Uh, lower update. body injury, there was, uh, uh, our trainers recommended that um, we use precaution. I guess it's the easiest way to put it. Um, and Logan had played, uh, you know, in Calgary, had a good good workout this morning on the ice. So going in cold is never easy, especially when you give up a chance, and we did right away. But he did a good job for us. Um, so that was a decision on Aiden. And we'll know more when we get back to Vegas, you know, what's going on there. But hopefully it's nothing serious. With the uh, end of this long stretch, how much of a priority was it to balance Sorry. out your five-on-five five ice time for your defenseman? It seemed like it was pretty even. Uh, we try to do that every night. We're, we're on an 82-game schedule here, Mish plan, and we'd like to plan on another 20-some games after, right? That's, you know, I think a lot of teams would like to do that, but we're certainly planning for that, so we've got to be careful. Petro's the one guy that gets up because he plays in both special teams, right? With Theo being out, he's now moved to the number one power play, so he's the one guy we got to keep an eye on. The other guys we typically can get, uh, in a good range between 18 and, and 22, um, but he's the one guy that sometimes can can, can can get up there. But that's always our plan. <clears throat> you, you guys would get the best from everyone as defending champs all year. But was there anything extra? You said it's more your game than their game. But was yeah, there you know what? Extra because of where they were. Talk can probably speak to whether he liked his team's game tonight or not. I thought. From our perspective, their top guys were having to work hard to get through us, and you could see a little frustration starting. We did a good job angling Hughes and not allowing him to jump and give and go and jump into the play, and he had to really work to get a shot through from the blue line. We know that he's dangerous there. You know, Peterson and and, um, and Miller giving them space and odd man rushes. So, I mean, that's the part I like. I can't speak to It's the first, ask me again after we see him two or three times um, where I think they're at. And even then, you know what, it's never really my place to comment on 
on that stuff. Uh, I know that they're a, a good hockey team and they're playing better this year. I've seen it. I've watched it. I'm a hockey fan, and we pre-scout. Uh, where they were tonight with their game, like I said, he, I, I can't really answer that. More, more in the sense of your guys being up for the fact that I think. Well, team. we talked about it because this morning that teams are excited to play us, and now you got Vancouver. We don't talk about first place ever, or anything like that. We just talk about the opponent and what it means. So I think our guys knew that. Hey, this is a divi- It's you know this could be a team we're chasing, or they're chasing us, and it's a battle all year to to be in the top spot. So let's put our best foot forward. Yes, we definitely talked about that.